Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to explain you how to export your Polycam scan into Maya and Arnold Render. Okay, so the first step to do is to export your Polycam scan from the app. Go to export button and select OBJ. OBJ is perfect for us to edit the geometry. So once the link has been created, you can export it to your drive. And for me, it will be OneDrive. Okay, so once the upload has been finished, you can see all the data we get in the folder. You can already import the OBJ. Let's clean the geometry. Here, we can see many problems. First, we have too many details that is not needed. And already, we can see that the faces are not merged. You can see I have big border edges that show me it. You can have the same things as me by going to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences, Polygons, and check border edges and put an edge width to 2 or 3. Now, let's merge this by going to Edit Mesh, Merge. Wait a couple of seconds and make sure to change the distance threshold to 0. Now, you have all the faces merged, which is perfect. Now, let's move the geometry. Okay, so for doing this, go to Sculpting and click Smooth. Okay, so once you are satisfied by the result, you can change the hardened soften edges to soften. Now, we have a smooth result. Let's import the maps. So select the model, go to Hyper Shade, and create an eye standard surface. You can change the name. Now let's import the maps. Here we don't need the occlusion map because it's more for game engines and real time content, so you can delete it. Now Let's import the files. Put the color in base color. Select the node. Go to geometry, up mapping, and middle click button. Go to bump mapping. From here, change the bump to tension space normal. And make sure on the normal map, select the color space to row. Now, change the specular to zero or a tiny value. For me, it's zero. Okay, now you're all set. Click on the texture icon, and you can see the textures, which is perfectly suitable for us. Make sure to delete the history by going to Edit, Delete all by type, History. Now, let's add a cyclo. So this is really easy. You have just to go to poly modeling, create a cube, scale it, delete faces, go to mesh display, reverse, and create a beaver by shift, right click, beaver edge. Now put more segments and change the fraction to something tiner. Okay, so now you can scale it, make sure. To have correctly set the asset for the cyclo. You can create a camera, move. You can change the rotation of the asset to something more interesting. You can add a sky dome by going to the Arnold tab and create a sky dome. Now you can change the background color. You are all set and you can stand the render. So now restart. The render is perfectly working and suitable for us. Feel free to change the rotation of the asset and make it to the center of the world. For this, go to Ctrl Maj right click and put it to world. Now you can rotate it freely. If you have any questions, make sure to check our Discord server, link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.